What's up, Dusty Crew? Today I thought I'd take you with us on an adventure to Empey's Test and Tune VW Meetup sponsored by Rugged Radios. Now, the only other time that Spencer and I have been able to make it to Empey was two years ago for their open house, and it was a blast. That open house was actually where we ended up finding the bucket seats that are currently in the dust buggy today. The very best part about these seats is that we got them for $20 a piece. Both Rugged Radio and MP had really nice setups. They brought out some show cars. MP had their Class 11 racing team there. It was really fun to see. Alrighty, Dusty Crew, we're locked and loaded. In a quarter mile, use the second from the right lane to take exit 11 for I-5 South towards Santa Ana. Here we are, <laughs> down in Orange County, you guys, down the street from MP, <laughs> starting the bug up for the Test and Tune, Rugged Radio sponsoring today. I think that there will be a good showing of Volkswagen. And look at that, the bug is behaving right now. <laughs> you excited? Yeah, it's running good. It should be a fun day today, huh? Yeah, it should be really good. We're, we already saw a couple of cool cars rolling by us. Yeah, um, they look pretty the tricked out. Pretty we saw cool Megs. Yeah. yeah, that one looked good. It was lifted and everything. Oh yeah. Ooh, current already, and it's the cold. Oh yeah, she's been warming up, idling for a few minutes now. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Some sweet right? power steering. Mmm, sneaky, sneaky. Is it in it? Is yours? Oh, oh. I, I will yeah. definitely, yeah. Hop on in there, babe. <laughs> Do I just hop can, on can in? Can she get in the driver's seat? She usually yeah, gets in the passenger yeah. seat. Go the other oh, side, baby. The other side. How are you guys doing today? Good, good, you? Good. We saw you guys driving over here. Oh, you did? Like a fun ride. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just go ahead and step there. Try not to step on it. Mine's a little bit lower. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wow. How is it 
comfier than ours, right? Oh yeah, <laughs> for sure. Better mirrors too. <laughs> yeah, I, I think every everything's a little bit of an upgrade in here, but. Oh, you got oh seat heaters? God. See, I told her we needed heated seats, but she said that was too much money. Now this is the Baja light. Yeah, right. well, I mean, it's not on right now, but yeah, the seat heaters are right here, and that's your e-brake. Wow. This thing Everything is Everything was built like You push down on that, and you push on this, and that'll give you a push down e-brake. You pop your foot on that, it'll release it. But right now, you have it pushed, and I turned the ball valve, so it actually cuts the brakes to the back, so it locks them in. It's a oh, line wow. locker. Line locker. Line locker? Look at all I've this never even heard of rugged that. radio's equipment. <laughs> wow, switch panel. Look at that. Some sweet gauge cluster. Ashley can take over. I'm back camera. <laughs> He's even got a back seat for the kiddos. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Very cool. I like that. The wing's got a fucking uh, radiator in it. That's pretty sweet. Little EJ swap. Is that a UMP system? That's not a UMP system. Whose is it? Power Core G2. I've never seen one of those. Yeah, it's actually off of, uh, they use it on heavy equipment. Okay, so like, uh, like tractors and? Tractors, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. It's a three stage system. It takes and spits out all the heavy right here on the oh, end. Oh, it's got a. A little vent dealio. Yeah, and then it goes through and you have two different stages. Okay. Sweet. So, uh, built Subaru, stock Subaru? It's stock. Stock? Yeah. Subaru, and what's the, what's the travel like? Transmission. Oh, you got the Subi speed in it, or yep. Subi trans in it. Yep. So, what's the travel like in this guy? Uh, it's been like 17 inches. 17. Is that all around or? Okay. So you got all your electronics in here. Something that's just that's just an access panel right here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I do because I eventually I want to put a they make a container that you can put down inside here. Like a parcel tray a deal. Okay. Well, that's a badass little buggy, man. I like the curb windshield too. Was the curb windshield that was factory for this uh, body? Uh, it's factory for the Mangster body, but I believe they take a, a windshield out of another vehicle and they cut it down to fit this. Yeah, that's so pretty common for the off-road stuff, yeah. Okay. Well, badass, man. What was your name? My name's Richard. Richard, Richard. nice to meet you, man. You're welcome. Oh, I, could be wrong. I think so. I could be wrong. The paint job is very familiar. Okay. Spence, smile! <laughs> Can you take a picture really of me nice. next to it? Over, let's do a walk around. Yeah. Um, it's a sandrail. I don't know much about sandrail, guys. <laughs> but uh, let's see. He's got his King Fox 2.0 coilovers with his A arm front suspension. Uh, that looks like a 10 inch coilover or something, so he's probably okay. getting power steering. Upwards of 12 or 14 inches in the front, I would assume. Maybe more. Cutting nice brakes. Going on. Yeah, cutting brakes, his little dash Ooh, panels. I like there. his seats, they look nice. He's got his full hydraulic pedal set up. I like the paint job on this, you guys. Yeah, Look at that. Very like nice it. vintage paint job. Uh, look. No. <laughs> so he's got a fuel injected. Oh, look at that. Wait, look fire. at the starter loom. That's actually really That's clean. That's very nice. <laughs> he's got a big injected VW engine with a turbo. Aww. And it's all backed up by his five rib bus trans. So this guy has probably got over, well, he's probably got 200 or more horsepower, I would guess. Wow. And then if you turn around, oh. we have the MP bullet. bullet. So it's a, it's a fast pack with a fully oh, blueprinted VW engine. It's probably, a, it's probably a 2332. It could be larger. Um, it's got 48. And I like the rear, how it's like all the way in. <laughs> the firewall? Yeah. So he's got 48s on it, and it looks like 
He's got custom manifolds, and they've been welded and then ported. Serious stuff. Not to mention just like how cool it looks. Mm. Yeah, but once again, retro. Yep. Those make the best paint jobs. But I have a picture of this one on my phone actually from Empty's open house. Make sure you make your way through the DJ right now. Mm -hmm. Nice little cage. Okay, check out these. You guys are part of MP's racing team built by Slayton Engineering. Jeez. Look at all those sponsors on the side. Very cool. Over that big old fuel cell. That big old fuel cell and uh -huh. we still just using a little facet uh, fuel pump. Little what? He's, he's got that big old fuel cell and he's still got the little ticker fuel pump. <laughs> that's funny. I mean, that's all it needs. Hey, look. You don't need anything out. more. Uh, empty gear shifter. <laughs> Look at that. Look at this. That paint job, though. Oh my gosh. That exhaust system, though. <laughs> and you thought the bug was bad. <laughs> Good no, that's Lord. pretty sick. That is pretty sick. That's also pretty sick. <laughs> Look at those bell loaders, man. They're gonna sit them right here. Put them right here. That's a big boy coil over. <laughs> Look at that third seat in there. That's kind of cool. <laughs> I'd oh, love to try it. that out. <laughs> Dang, look at that cage. Rugged radios. Ooh, rugged radios rig. Cage work is all Can't hold the spray for me. Thank you. Ah, uh, look, Wilson! <laughs> work in this thing is fucking bitching. Um, you can see the cage is all very tight to the headliner and it's been wrapped in with uh, vinyl and it looks like it, it, it wraps in and it actually looks like an A-pillar. Oh wow, when that's a cage. it comes up to the front, that's the cage. Oh, it's that's awesome. Clean. Wow, that is very clean in there. Wow. Yeah, in fact, in fact we've been we, we came down, uh, we've been, we, we're from Aurora Grande, we just we should. Yeah. We, we left 4 a.m. on Thursday. Oh, wow. Uh, we probably put my mind that it was 22 inches rear travel. Jeez. This thing is sick, you guys. Look at that. There's so many cool things here, you guys. Check out this minx. Very cool. It's really low.
when I'm gonna go three by three, you know? such a clean bus. Wow. Everything here is really clean. Look at this thing. Oh. The cactus cooler. <laughs> Pretty nice on a suspension. With the waffle tires. Oh my god, who's that? Make sure you make your way to the MP also set up a tour through their warehouse for anyone who wanted to go, and that was pretty cool. They even give you some secrets that the general public doesn't know yet. Two hundred employees every day. Wow. This is kind of a. I can tell you, even personal experience. We've listened to our customers. We talk about how we roll the fenders and taking some of the sharp edges down and stuff like that. I lived on 24 stitches on one of our sharp fenders. This is where we do all of our work in front of here. Um, we'll actually start this way and we'll loop around. Ooh, we this section here? here is strictly devoted to our performance carburetor. So our EPC carburetor, our 51s and 48s, which we also moniker our 48 Special now, which is the performance car with all the billet goodies on it, pre-run, pre-tested, pre-tuned. They're all built here by hand. Jackson Kenny sits and builds them himself. As we bag log it, you can see all the rows of just tops and bodies and everything else. We've been kind of shuffling stuff around. We've just got a bunch, you notice, we've like, we have a lot of new forklifts we just come in, so we're trying to stuff stuff and move stuff. and. <laughs> Gets to be a, a bunch of work, but all the raw bar comes in like this, and we literally cut it down to whatever project it's going to be. But it's all done here. We don't buy it pre-cut. We buy it in long sticks, and we cut it all in house, so we can continue to monitor every aspect of it. This is my poor daily driver. She's a little bit neglected right now. Um, she's going through a little heart transplant. <laughs> um, the new freeway flyer training, a big two liter. We just got her on the night home yesterday, but I just ran out of time. I wanted out front. This is the this is the MP people mover. So it's a driver. I purchased this car in Arizona for the company and free member. So that's his uh, street car and then more blue or other cars we got. Yeah. She mentioned this is her nine car. <laughs> this is her, um, again, we as we've evolved, we've partnered with certain people. Um, uh, Slutton Engineering is, is kind of now near and dear to us. They, they, they helped Blake Wilkie. You guys saw Blake Wilkie stuff. So they were ones working with Blake Wilkie early on. And then once we kind of started falling in love with it, they built this old hot rod for me here to Tim Slutton in the back. We just brought some stuff over here. We had a car in here. This is more R&D, car development, trucks, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's cool. God, I love the sparkle on this. So pretty. Oh my. Look at the latches. I love that. <laughs> Did you see the latches? Yeah, the leather. Yeah, isn't that cool? Belt buckled. Dang, look at those seats. Those are gonna get dirty. Sparkly steering wheel. I love that. That's so pretty. Ah, this whole car is so pretty. <laughs> How are you supposed to get that wheel out? <laughs> oh, no. Spare tire in there. <laughs> Middle of the race, you bust your shit just to get it open. <laughs> More belt buckles, those are so cool. More sparkly paint, that is just so nice. This one too. And this is also one of my favorite blues. So, work race play. Hell yeah. It's a good smell. I haven't smelled it in a while. <laughs> Dang! His tires go all the way here. So that's 25, 30 feet. What do you think? 25, 30 feet of a burnout? Uh, that's more than 30 feet. <laughs> that's like 40 feet, 50 feet. Hey, you have a tape measure. Final, final, final. Something like that. For today.
you guys are hearing of an upcoming MP event, make sure you get there because it's always fun. <laughs> We've only been here twice, but both times have been like a uh, you had to be there kind of time. Oh yes, we have to get a picture.